it going, guys? My name is Calvin. I'm Joanna. I'm Addison. I'm Christopher. We represent the uh, PR team from Tesla. Today we want to talk about giving back to the planet. So I'm sure as you guys know, global warming is an issue. And if we're not careful, we can end up with something like this. We all love our planet Earth. You know, we have a dream of going to the stars and one day colonizing Mars, but we're not there yet. So we have to make sure we take care of our planet now. We have to make sure that we don't have repeats of things like smog in Beijing, China. Um, I mean, this is, people are maybe five, 10 feet away from each other in that picture, and you can barely see one another. Um, because some of the effects of uh, climate change that we're already seeing around the world are glaciers melting everywhere, for anywhere there's ice, it's melting. Um, in California, which is a farm, there's no water. It's, it's a trouble. I mean, the irony here is food grows where the water grows, there's no, there's no water here. So to talk more in depth about this problem, I'm going to pass it over to Joanna. So first, I want to start off by reading a quote by Leonardo DiCaprio from his recent Oscar, perform Oscar um, acceptance speech. So it says, climate change is real. It's happening right now. It's the most urgent threat facing our entire species. And we need to work collectively together and stop procrastinating. We need to support big leaders around the world who do not speak for the big polluters, but who speak for all of humanity, for the indigenous people of the world, for the billions and billions of underprivileged people out there who are most affected by this, for our children's children, and for those people out there whose voices have been drowned out by the politics of greed. Let's not take this planet for granted. So as we know, climate change is significantly hurting our planet, and it could lead to our destruction. Global warming has increased the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere, and the majority of it is caused by an increase of carbon dioxide. As you can tell from the graph on the side, a third of our carbon, carbon emissions is from transportation, but that doesn't mean that we're all gonna stop driving our cars in order to save our planet. So what exactly is the solution here? The solution is that we need to find an alternative fuel source in order to fuel our cars. Eliminating the use of gas in order to fuel our cars will reduce carbon emissions drastically. So instead, we could transform the world into using electricity to power our cars as well as other forms of our transportation. Doing this will allow, will lower our carbon emissions and allow our future generation to live in a cleaner world with less pollutants as well as less filth. Let me tell you why this, uh, this, is, uh, this issue is important to Tesla. Here at Tesla, our mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable transport by offering something that drivers can't find anywhere else. Um, first off, we were founded in 2004 in Palo Alto, California, and we are best known for our high-end electric cars. The reason we chose high-end electric cars is because we wanted to turn people's heads and get them seriously uh, focusing in on electric vehicles and what they can um, provide for the uh, environment. Um, we are already an industry leader for alternative fuels, so this goes to show that we're not afraid to push the budget or uh, push the envelope or um, challenge conventional thinking or even the big guys in the automobile industry. Um, all companies run on the final goal of making a profit, but our end goal is to be as environmentally friendly as possible. We want to leave the world in a better place than when we started our company. To tell you more about us and I'll give a better idea of how we are environmentally friendly, I'm going to give you some uh, info on our um, services and what we offer. Um, first off, we are zero emissions vehicles, and since we are 100% electric, we do not depend on biodiesel or kind of combination of electric and um, uh, fossil fuels such as the Prius or the Volt. Um, we get up to 265 miles per charge on our battery cells, um, which is equivalent to less than three gallons of gas of energy output. Um, and this comes with um, actually an over 89 mile per gallon uh, fuel efficiency, um, which actually some of our models go close to 100. Um, our most important thing we're coming up with right now is we're about to open our Gigafactory. And as you can see here, this thing is completely covered in solar panels. Um, it's gonna be net zero emissions. It's gonna take in as much energy as it outputs. And this, um, we've already revolutionized the way cars are. This is gonna revolutionize the way things are manufactured. So if we can take away, like we saw in the pie graph earlier, 50% of the emissions just from this, this Gigafactory and our uh, fuel efficient cars, I think we'd really be leaving the world in a better place. Um, all this work that we're doing is to set a foundation to create a sustainable future. And that's why I believe that we are the perfect company 
to start this program for up and coming mechanical engineers. To give you more information, here's Chris. So the proposal that we're presenting today is called Feel the Future. It's kind of similar to the Shell Eco Marathon uh, competition, which encouraged contestants to build <laughs> fuel efficient car test models while still using gasoline. So we're taking a step further while and focusing on alternative fuels, eliminating carbon footprints altogether. So the three winning teams will be picked based on ideas and the detailed proposals that they submit. And they will receive four-year academic scholarships depending on how they place. So this uh, competition, we hope it creates initiative among young engineers to focus on alternative fuels while bringing attention to the topic altogether. So as far as the budgeting goes, uh, we need a total of $180,000 to provide for scholarships for the students that way. And Test Lab, who's hosting the competition, will provide the first $60,000. And the American Society of Medical Engineers, the AM ASME, will also provide another $60,000 to show their support. And now we're asking you to come contribute another $60,000 to help make this comp competition successful and hopefully lead a change. So we're trying to lead an initiative to help change the world, to save the world, because we believe in a future where we can rely on our children and our children's children to have the future. We want a future where we don't have to rely on gasoline, we want to rely on alternative fuels. We want a future where we can show our favorite planet that we care. Thank you. Questions? Anyone?